against the 2020 specs. Chevy Camaro, red light for Lyle. Tell you what, this looks good for oh, Vic. Oh, no! Over the fence and go!시뻘건 불길이 23층 높이의 건물 외벽 전체를 완전히 집어삼켰습니다. 불타고 있는 건물 외벽에서 잔해물이 아래로 떨어지는 모습도 포착됩니다. 오늘 새벽 6시 반쯤 부산 부산진구 부전동 오피스텔 주차타워에서 불이 났습니다. 도심 번화가에서 일어난 화재여서 새벽 수십 명이 연기를 마셨고 경찰은 인근 주택가 주민 30명을 대피시킨 데 이어 현장 주변에 폴리스 라인을 설치해 차량 진입 등 출입을 통제했습니다. 화재 진화 과정에서 오피스텔 20층에 살던 세 가구가 구조된 것으로 전해졌습니다. 높은 건물에서 불이 나 소방 헬기까지 동원돼 진화 작업이 벌어졌습니다. 소방 당국은 대응 1단계를 발령한 데 이어 오전 7시 23분쯤 큰 불길을 잡았다고 밝혔습니다. 되게 무서웠죠, 그 번질까 봐. 연기는 그때 당시에는 그렇게 많이 안 났는데 불이 음. 소진되고 꺼지고 나니까 엄청 자욱하게 그 동네를 다 감쌌었어요. 그, 그런 그 불을 처음 봤습니다. 음. 실제로는요. 주차타워 화재 불티가 인근 2층 규모 상가 건물로 번졌지만 불길이 크게 확대되는 상황은 아닌 것으로 알려졌습니다. 멀리서도 볼수 있는 고층 건물이 불길에 휩싸이고 연기가 치솟으면서 소방당국에는 이른 건이 넘는 시민 신고가 접수됐습니다. 관할 구청도 재난 메시지를 발송해 운전자들에게 해당 지역을 우회하고 인근 주민은 안전한 곳으로 대피할 것을 당부했습니다. 소방 당국은 화재를 진압하는 대로 정확한 화재 원인을 조사할 계획입니다. 
July 1998. Two-time world champion Felix Sorales and his teammate Saeed Altair hope to win their third world title at an offshore race in the frigid waters near Arendal, Norway. So the start boat has signaled 12 boats then into action. We in their blue, high-performance boat, Victory 5, the two men jump out to a strong start. And we've got the two Victory boats close up together. Near the second lap of the 128-mile race, the boats head into rough water. Incredible stuff. The surface very unpredictable. But something's wrong. Oh, boat on fire! That's one. Looks like one of the. It's one of the victory boats. What catastrophe! What drama! That boat is seriously on fire, and we do have. Both of the men out, one of them though, it's completely wrecked, it's absolutely destroyed, it's Victory 5. The decks are gone and the boat sits helplessly in the freezing water. Over 200 gallons of high octane aviation fuel could explode at any moment. Nineteen ninety-eight. Off the coast of Norway, Felix Sorales and Saeed Altair's offshore boat is blazing out of control. The men are trapped between a raging fire and bone-chilling water. Saeed Altair was breathing in not just carbon monoxide, but the fumes of the burning fiberglass. Now, the safest place for them to be is in the water, but with a man injured, they're not going to want to be in there. Saeed's saying, I don't want to go in, I don't want to go in. And Felix says, then we're going to sink with the boat burning. And so he shoves Saeed into the water. Rescue teams pull the two men to safety. Saeed, my partner, uh, got hit a little harder than I did because the explosion was on his side and he's got some black and blue on his right arm and, and a little bit on his uh, right uh, knee. What went wrong and destroyed this million-dollar powerboat? During the race, Sorales noticed a strange smell. We uh, started to smell uh, a lot of uh, fuel uh, fumes, and uh, we were very concerned. And we opened the hatches because it was getting pretty bad. Inside his boat, the fuel line sprang a leak. The boat was a death trap, filling up with gasoline and fumes. All it needed was a spark to set it off. And as I went to uh, reach uh, the, the fuel uh, pump uh, button to shut it off, uh, the thing just exploded. What triggered the spark? When Sorales hit the fuel pump button, a relay switch emitted an electric charge that ignited the fuel-filled powerboat. And there was one other problem, a structural component that's common to nearly every powerboat. The sonar boat's constructed of fiberglass. There's one bad part about fiberglass, though. It's flammable. And it could burn very ferociously. Today, how do you stop a fire before it gets out of control? For many small fires, an ordinary handheld extinguisher takes care of business. But for major fires, like in a sealed engine block, many boats now use onboard automatic firefighting systems that use inert gas to starve the fire. Fortunately for drivers, powerboat fires are extremely rare. This only occurs in less than 5% of, of boats in the last 20 years. In offshore, we've had two fires only in 20 years. Felix Sorales and Saeed Altair were lucky to survive their fire. But it's a dramatic reminder that high-tech safety isn't foolproof. Even a million-dollar boat is vulnerable in the unpredictable world of powerboat racing.